The U.S. striking two more Houthi sea drones in Yemen as the militant group's Red Sea attacks continue. Military officials saying they determined the explosive devices to be a, quote, imminent threat to U.S. Navy ships and merchant vessels. These strikes coming after Houthi rebels claimed responsibility for two more Red Sea ship attacks. Anne-Marie, these attacks continue. They do continue, and the shipping industry is warning for anyone to be careful about the collateral damage if you're going to go through the Red Sea or the Gulf of Aden. So what this does show is that even though the U.S. has retaliated and deterred or degraded some of the Houthi capability, it hasn't stopped them, which is what the president actually said. What was different about the strikes that took place Friday evening? Did you notice almost immediately after the market closed, which yep. you'd have to sense was deliberate, it was like 4 p.m. headlines start dropping. What was different about that than what we've seen over the last few weeks, the last month? Well, when you're going after the Houthis, they're trying to degrade the missiles that they're firing into these vessels. The strikes that we saw on Friday was in response to those three service members that were killed, and that was to these facilities that uh, Iranian-backed proxies use in Syria and in Iraq. And what we've heard from the administration is it's not going to be an open-ended military campaign, but they also said it's going to be sustained, meaning we will see some more. I'm just focused on the internet traffic. I mean, I'm serious because Norman Rule was talking about this yesterday. And yeah. then the Houthis put out on their Telegram channel I know. Uh, a map and pictures of the internet cables, and they account for about 17% of the global internet traffic. I'm really trying to do a deep dive into these internet cables. Literally. They have the willingness, do they have the ability? Yeah, that's a good question. Do they have the ability? It's a good question, but I think it's something the U.S. is definitely concerned with, especially those cables that are under Egypt, which also Egypt gets paid a lot of money for.